What's up everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. Alright guys, in this video we're going to talk about my greatest regret. But before we do that, if you benefited from this channel in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor, smack, hit, destroy, beat up, crush, annihilate that like button and that subscribe button because that shit helps a lot. I appreciate it. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about my biggest regret. And it might not be what you think. It's not a school I didn't attend. It's not not trying out for Delta Selection. Um, it's not law enforcement, any of those things, um, not getting SWAT or things like that. My biggest regret is taking 33 years of my life to learn a very valuable lesson. And if I could pass on any advice to you guys, it would be to learn this lesson sooner than I did and don't take so damn long to do it. It took me a long time to accept that my insecurities could be out in the open and I could just be who I am and use them as like a cloak of armor. I spent so many years being ashamed of who I was and why and all the things I tried to hide from everybody. Not realizing that as I was hiding all those insecurities, it was only empowering those who wanted to do me harm. It was only empowering other people and giving them ammunition against me. So I was always ashamed that I was, you know, extremely uneducated. I couldn't even name all 50 fucking states, to be honest with you. I went and got a bunch of degrees to try and hide that, to try and mask that reality that I don't know fucking common knowledge that my nine-year-old kid knows. I tried to hide the fact that I grew up poor and that I was getting arrested and that I grew up in a trailer on welfare. I would hide all those things. The problem with that is that once somebody finds out that those are something that you try to hold dear and that you try to hide, it just becomes ammo for them to use against you. And I spent way too many days ashamed, upset, crushed, and felt broken inside because somebody had found out one of my insecurities and they hit me with it and it brought me to my knees. When in reality, and it took me 33 fucking years to figure this out. The whole time I should have been wearing that shit like a cloak of armor. I should have had that on display. I'm not saying go tell everybody all your business. But I am saying don't be afraid of it. Don't hide it. Don't give them fucking ammunition. And the sooner that you can start picking apart your past and accepting how it's benefited you, the sooner you can start being more comfortable in your own skin. In the military, we call it having thick skin. And especially for all you people going into special operations, you're going to be told a lot that you need to have thick skin. Now, what is this thick skin? And how does one acquire thick skin? Well, I'll tell you how you don't do it. You don't do it by having a bunch of insecurities that you try to hide from the world. And then your actions start slowly letting those insecurities out to become ammunition for other people. And when they're trying to you know, just mess with you and it's all part of the culture and I get that. But they don't see is that inside it fucking hurts. It hurts really bad. And so I would tell you that this whole thick skin idea is really just you needing to be comfortable with yourself and not having those insecurities be hidden. Accept them for what they have allowed you to become. The sooner we can start embracing ourselves, the sooner we can start being ourselves. And the more we are ourselves, the farther and farther you will get. A year ago, I would have never done this channel. I would have never talked about all the things that I've talked about. I would have never talked about growing up poor in a trailer. I would have never talked about my mom uh, driving her car into the house and then passing out drunk and waiting for the guy to come home. I would have never talked about watching her get her head slammed into a wall until she was unconscious. I would have hidden those things 100% and continue to allow them to be things that could be used against me. But I'm done with that. I'm open, I'm honest, and it feels fucking amazing. And I've never accomplished more in such a short period of time. And I attribute all of that to just embracing who I am. So guys, that would be my biggest regret right there. Please don't take that long to learn that lesson. Get comfortable in your own skin. Figure out who you are and be fucking proud of it. Talk to you next time. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious. I know that you.